Hi guys, this is Sony for all of you who don't know and it's my first official YouTube video regarding skincare. Woo! I am very excited to share my favorite products for skincare, right Richie? And my daily supernatural makeup look. For makeup, I have like a couple of steps. I'm gonna put him down. A couple of steps, it's basically like supernatural and then it's a casting look then it's a dinner date night look lastly it's the going out party look so right now i'm doing step one and i'm gonna start with there's actually nothing on my skin this is how i woke up so i'm gonna start with a little cotton pad and my favorite makeup remover it's the clarines i get it in travel size because you all know how hard it is to pack all your liquids in order to travel. This is like the hardest thing for me in my whole entire life to stack all your liquids in that small plastic bag. So basically I just clean all the excess makeup off from last night or the day that she had no makeup on yesterday and you see how it takes out all the dirt. Then followed by the Clarines cleansing milk. It just, take a new cotton pad, it just makes your skin super soft. For me, glowy skin is so important, so I do put a lot of products on my skin to make it super fresh and glowy. So I will start with my favorite product that I recently discovered. It's Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. I've started using it, I think, a month ago, and I can already tell you I've seen a big difference in my skin. So you don't need a lot. It says on the bottle that you see the results in like three minutes, and I think you can. It smoothens out your skin as if it was been photoshopped. So I recommend, recommend, recommend. So while this is setting, I will go ahead with my most important step of my makeup. That's the eyebrows. So I'm going to brush them. I just brush them up because there's nothing sadder than smushed eyebrows. If you need a little filling in in the gaps, I use the IT Eyebrow Powder. It only comes in one color. It just fits into your own eyebrow and colors. Brush it up and just extend it down. Again, just fill out the gaps. Voila, nothing much major. It's just a little gappy in some parts and I filled it out. Then I will use my favorite eyebrow gel, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've tried a lot of eyebrow gels in my life and I seriously think this is the strongest eyebrow gel out there. So you wanna brush them down. Yeah, looks horrible. And then brush them up by the end of the day they will not move i stopped plucking my eyebrows when i got signed with an agency because they told me not to touch them because i was a huge major plucker and i'm so glad they did so now i just pluck them actually um in the middle nothing else so now that our skin is set it depends how glowy you want to go i'll give you two options this one's my favorite oil youth to the people and gives you a super glowy look but it depends if your skin is super dry in the morning use this my skin today is not that dry so i will use the dr hauschka day cream also my favorite it smells amazing and for my eye cream tata harper it's such a great eye cream seriously youth preserving i'm also still in the process of finding the best eye cream for your beautiful under eye bags but i think i found one it's from it cosmetics bye bye under eye just fyi i will take my milk bronzer it's a cream so it makes your skin more glowy so if you want a natural look avoid a lot of powder and go for a more liquid foundation creams highlighters because the powder will make it too thick and matte this is my favorite make this funny face usually apply it where naturally the sun would hit you when you were tanning
And then I take my beauty blender. Make sure you wet it a little bit. So wash it, squeeze it out, dab it in um, tissue paper. Usually I get it into my hairline. Now that we have our bronzer, I use this very light Clarins BB foundation. It's the best that I've used so far. I usually never used a BB cream with the foundation, but it acts as like a concealer and foundation. And it has SPF, so always, always, always put SPF on your face. Super important, you'll be thankful in the long run. So I put a little on my finger and I put it under my eyes and on parts where you have a little pimple, it's not the end of the world. Everyone has them. I use my beauty blender. It's like super light but covers enough to not see the redness of your pimple or under eyes. So I usually just go around my bronzed place. So this is where I wanted to cover it, mostly under eyes. I've never used like a concealer, so I can't recommend the best one. If you want to go more darker, I just go over with my NARS bronzer and my brush. Get the jaw and of course the neck. Never forget it, otherwise you can give away your fake natural look. <laughs> So get it all the way down where your shirt or whatever you're wearing starts. I take my brush and I use the same bronzer that I use on my face for my eyelids. Gives this bronzy, sun-kissed look. That's how it is. Once we've added this, then take your smaller brush. Again, use your bronzer and go under your eye. For people with smaller eyes who want it just to be a bit bigger like me, you would do this. If your skin is too oily, use a setting powder because that's great. I use the small Laura Mercier because I don't usually use a powder, but when I do and I know it's gonna be a long day and I'll be sweaty, I use this translucent powder under your eyes just to set it all. While that's setting, I use my favorite lip maximizer by Dior. It just brings a bit more plumpiness to your lips because it's like with collagen and just has like a super natural color. It might stink the first time you put it on. <laughs> so I hope I'm not forgetting all my stages because I'm so excited for you to see all my products. I use this liquid milk highlighter. It's amazing it comes in like this small little cute stick so i put it on my cupid you can actually put a little on your lip the tip of my nose actually if you don't know where to put it if you see the um, the bronzer and just where it finishes on the top this is where you draw it and i take it into the eye and on top of it I live for highlighter. Sometimes I can actually use this Smashbox finish, photo finish radiance. And I dab it, same place. So guys, last but not least, to give a little more color to your face, I use a MAC blush, blush baby it's called. Smile and put it on your cheeks, the fatty parts. Take the blush high up under my eye and on your nose. So this is when you are coming from the sun. I haven't been to Italy, but no one knows about it. When you're hit by the sun and you're tan, this is how your skin looks, so we're trying to achieve that. On my day-to-day -day look, I don't usually put mascara on because I'm trying to make my eyelashes grow and have their own freedom. This is my finishing look. I sometimes add a little more tint of lip gloss to my lip, but wouldn't do it today. Last but not least, for my hair, I'll be using the Playa Endless Summer Spray just to get it a little bit of natural waves. If you guys could smell it, it's insane. Just jam them up. The Playa 
oil. So they make this hair brand best for people who are in the sun a lot. So it protects your hair from sea salt water, sun. Just scrunch it up a little. And I'll have a lot of flyaways, so I use this small Amica hairspray to smoothen things. And your baby hairs. Guys, don't get mad at baby hairs. They're a sign of youth and that you have hair growing. I have to come to terms with that too. <laughs> this is it guys. I'm ready for my day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to upgrade of your makeup or go a bit darker, I usually just go over it. So if I have an immediate appointment or a casting, I come home and make my eyelids darker or put another darker color on my lip. But this is like my go-to look. I recommend it to everyone because it's natural and it's simple and it's quick. So I hope you enjoyed it and kisses to you. Bye.